In this video, I'm going to show you how you can upgrade the 40 gate firewall using CLI. And on my screen is the support portal where you can select the product and the platform. In my case, it is Zen. And this is the file that I should download to upgrade the existing 40 gate firewall. And if you go to the upgrade part tool, you can select the information like product current version and the version that you would like to upgrade to. And if you click on go, it will show the upgrade path along with the build information 1254. As you can see on my screen, the file name 1254 is required in this case. And I have this file already downloaded. And let's try to check the current firmware version on the 40 gate firewall as you can see on my screen 705 is the version and 0304 is the build number let me try to check the connectivity to our tftp server this is the tftp server hosted on the windows server Okay, there seems to be an issue with the connectivity. Let me fix that. I'll pause the video. Okay, so I have fixed the connectivity to my TFTP server. And my pings are reaching the TFTP server. So the command is execute restore image tftp and the file name on the tftp server which we have downloaded from the 40 gate support portal. Let me try to copy the name here. And then at last you will have to specify the IP address of the tftp server. And you'll have to click on yes to proceed. So on the TFTP server, you can see the status. The progress bar is showing that the file is being fetched by the 40 gate firewall. Once the firmware is fetched on to the 40 gate firewall repository on the local machine, it will then try to restart the firewall to apply the firmware. So now as you can see, I have lost the access to the firewall because it is rebooting. Make sure you do the uh, 
proper configuration backup before uh, proceeding with the firewall upgrade to avoid any sort of failure. Now that the firewall is up, let me try to check the firmware version. Ideally it should be 721-1254. And as expected it is 721-1254 build number. And if you would like to have a reference documentation well, I'll share the link in the description. That's all in this video. See you in the next one. And please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button.